Hi, I'm Nardan Sari, and this video I'm gonna talk about the Legion. So, without any further ado, let's begin. First of all, let's just open up some static mesh in here, like this chair, okay? So, every static mesh should have a collision box, okay? So, with collision box, we can simulate physics and we can simulate if something hitting this uh, chair, for example, or our player or whatever. So, we should have a collision for our objects, okay? If you open up a static mesh in a static mesh editor like I did in here, let's just put it in here. Just open up whatever static mesh you have. In uh, I did open one in a starter content in props. I did double click on this SM chair and it's like this, okay? And every static mesh in Unreal Engine 5 has two type of collision. One of them is simple and one of them is complex. So at all, at most cases, we use simple, okay? Because the uh, complex, it takes too much CPU, RAM, and GPU to calculate. And we try our best to use a simple collision, okay? So first of all, I'm gonna show you the collision in here. You can see in category of collision, you can see the collision complexity, it's at project default. And what is the project default? If you go to your project setting, if you go to physics in here and search for default shape complexity, you can see at default it says simple and complex okay so let me show you what this simple and complex mean so like i said every static mesh has two collision shape one is simple and one is complex and in blueprint you can check for any of them that you want in some cases you need complex and in some cases you need simple but remember when you use complex shape you can't simulate physics on an object okay so let's just go to show and show a simple collision in here and you can see the simple collision my camera speed is too high let's just bring it down like this you can see the Colli simple collision shape is a shape is like this and we can simulate physics with, physics with that and you can see it's the simple shape is not perfect so if somebody want to sit on this chair no can do right so but if you if you don't use this simple shape and let's just disable this simple shape in here it's just for showing what is important is what you set in here okay if you set it to simple and complex you can choose in your blueprint which one you want to use but if you set it to use simple as complex always it use simple collision okay and if you set it to complex as simple it always use complex shape okay so let's just put it at simple so every time it's just using simple okay so no matter which one i'm showing you in here for example this complex shape it will show the simple shape you can see the simple shape and complex shape is no like each other okay but if we change this to simple and complex we can have both of them in one static mesh and in blueprint we can decide which one we want to use okay so in here you can see the simple collision is this green light green shape in here but the complex is this blue shape in here so let's just disable the complex and you can see this is a simple shape and let's just disable simple and enable complex and you can see it's accurate but it does have a lot of triangles and vertices that uh, Unreal Engine won't allow you to simulate physics on this because it's too expensive on hardware right let me again enable this simple shape and disable this complex collision you remember it's just for showing when i'm clicking here it's just it's just for showing and what is important it is what we set in here okay so you see this is a simple collision and we can change this simple collision there are some type of collision in here that you can set if you want to re remove this simple you can uh, simple collision you can remove it by clicking here and you can see it's it doesn't have a simple collision anymore okay so let's just show you some of them for example this at a sphere simple simplified collision okay and if we set this you can see that it's there is a circle around it that it's uh, you, it will use it as collision okay so let me show you in here just put this in here in our project let's just bring it up a little bit run our game and you can see when we collide with it nothing will happen because we didn't enable the physics so with selecting it and enabling the physics in here and run our game no and you can see it acts like a sphere right so you can see it's rotating it's like a sphere right so again let's just go to our chair and change this simple collision to another thing first let's just remove the collision and again add a box for example add box simplified collision and you can see there is a box collision in here again let's just save this and run our game again and when we hit it you can see you can see that it's not rotating anymore because we changed the collision shape node 
and let's just show you another thing let's just first remove the collision and you can see there are some type of 10 dot 10 dot x 10 dot y and 10 dot z and 80 dop and 26 dop simplify collision all of these are for sim simple collision uh, for example if we um, choose this 10 dop x simplified collision it will create this collision box that it's a little bit complex that than a box and we can have it like this but it's not accurate right so again let's just remove it and if we choose 80 dop simplified collision and you can see it's better no but it's not perfect again remove it and again uh, choose this again nobody can sit on this shape because the collision shape is not perfect right there is another option in this collision that is auto convex collision okay uh, i in most cases when you want to interact with something uh, you should use this auto convex shape and when you click on it it opens this in here and you can see there are some some property that you can change if you hover over it it says what it is how count it says maximum number of convex uh, pieces that will be created for example let's just apply this and it will create this shape for us you can see it's not perfect uh, um, it, it's not accurate again so we can change some value in here for example this apply it again it takes some uh, some time and you can see it's better no let's just change this again apply it and you can see it's acceptable i think and it's not take too much hardware power to process all of this so when you want to interact with a static mesh and you want to accurate thing to calculate physics with them just use this auto convex shape okay so now let's just save this and go to our game and you can see it's no it's working better you can see it it's like a real chair okay so we use this auto convex collision to make this collision but there is a better way to create a collision shape that have less triangles and vertices and it will be faster and optimized right so again let's just remove the collision the simple collision in here and you can see we are at the simple collision just remove all the collision and what you what you can do in here if you have time of course if you want to make your game optimized okay so what you can do you can create as many bugs or sphere or whatever uh, collision shape you want so for example we check this now with this if we hit r on our keyboard we can scale this um collision shape as we want let's just make it small like this and change its position to something like here and with that we simulate the collision of the back of the chair right so again what you can do now let me do it like this and of course we can add another box or whatever you want in here okay so again let's just resize it for the bottom of our chair right so and i think that's good and let's just bring it down and you can see now we have a collision that it doesn't have a lot of triangle and vertices and it should work fine with our chair. Of course, we can just make it a little bigger like this. And let's just bring it down a little bit. So I think that's cool. You can do it for, um, for this armchair as well but i think that's enough that's optimized collision shape so let's just save it and go to our game again run it and you can see we have this chair and it works fine right so let me play with it a little bit and you can see it looks cool and it simulates physics it's not uh, taking a lot of cpu to calculate physics and everything is working fine right so that was the best way to do collision to be optimized that was all with collisions in for static mesh in the next video i will talk about events that you can have with all of these collisions so please hit that subscribe button and if you want to help me hit that like button as well it's my honor to have you at the end of this video thank you very much for watching bye